Okay, that part is done. And we are here at another interactive cutscene or interactive thing. This part, this is what screams Indiana Jones, in my opinion. Like, Temple of Doom sort of thing. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's ridiculously closely resembles it. But it's not, it's not difficult to do, it's actually really easy to pull off in the end. But I have my own beef about part of it. Hang on a second, I'll show you, I'll tell you what I complain about when I get to it. This part right here, look at that! What's with the jumping across each other? Is that really necessary? Is it really necessary for somatics to jump across each other when you're cro un going underneath that? Just jump straight. Stupid people. Okay, this next part is supposed to resemble a puzzle, but in fact it is the biggest joke of a puzzle you'll ever encounter in this entire game. It is ridiculously easy. It's not even half a challenge because, you know, a something like this, this ne upcoming part, could have been an incredibly difficult puzzle. I mean, look at it. It's huge. This place is a massive. But, unfortunately, once you get to start working on the puzzle, it's like... easy as fuck. It's ridiculous. There's no challenge at all. So, frankly, if any of you need help with this part, you need help as a human. Because this part is not difficult. I owe you one. Uh, Thanks. So frankly, that's just my opinions. But other than that, this part's okay. It's just really, really, really easy. Because, you know, there's different cables that you need to pull to move the stairs. To move the the where the where the steps go but I don't want any handgun ammo dang it hate handgun ammo I don't need any more but anyway so the steps you would think this part would be difficult but in reality all you do is go and pull the cords as you get to them if you get to a, oh here's something useful grenade launcher you're gonna want that you're gonna want that before this part's over trust me you will want it. Come on, Roger. Okay, get the other one. So we have to pull the two cables. There's a number of little different ones like this where you have to pull two cables to get the stairs to move. That's really the entire area. These are the only two cables we can pull right now. So they're the ones that we have to pull. There's absolutely no thought process required. The only thing that you might have missed in this part is the grenade launcher. But now that you know where it is, you shouldn't even miss that. Because it's not exactly hidden. So pull that. The wonderful thing about these things, though, is once you pull the... Dang it, Sheva. Yeah, get the other chain. Come on. But once you pull the two chains and... See, okay. You pull the two chains, it does its own thing, and then it backs up. When it backs up, there's a jewel on every single one. It's kind of nice. But then the stairs move. <sighs> so yeah, this... Personally, I don't find this part enjoyable because it's... Yeah, it was an insult to me when I first played this. I'm thinking, this is it? This is the hardest puzzle this game can throw at me? And unfortunately, this is the hardest puzzle. There's another puzzle within the game, but it's not hard. In fact, it's easier than this. It's ridiculous. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter that much, ultimately. It's still a great game but it's not much of a puzzle game. And that's sort of what Resident Evil was built upon, I mean, puzzles. There were even some relatively difficult puzzles in Resident Evil 4. Not very many. There's only maybe one. And the only one that was there is that slider puzzle before you get to the knights. 
That's the only puzzle that I thought was difficult in Resident Evil 4. And personally, I thought it was fairly difficult. But, you know, this game doesn't even have ones that make me think it's difficult. No effort is required on my part, so whatever. Um, we're gonna get ambushed. Like, right now. Oh, there's a shiny up there. Do you guys see the shiny? I see the shiny. We're gonna have to go up there and get that treasure. Take out the guys that are shooting the arrows first. Because they can do the most damage the fastest. Oh, let's just... <laughs> that that grenade launcher looks massive on my back. Looks so cool. Where is the other guy that was shooting those arrows? I, can't, I don't know where he is. Where is he? Whatever, it's not important. Let's just kill these guys. Uh. Whoa! That guy would be really good at the limbo. Holy crap. And then again, I know that I know they can do that, but it just kind of surprises me every time. That's that's how they dodge it. Of all the ways they could dodge it, you know, they could move to the left, move to the right. No, they freaking play limbo in midair. Much appreciated. I think it's really cool, frankly. Uh, I should probably lay off the headshots because you know those um set follow things will probably come out if I keep hitting him in the head. Oh, I don't like the shielded ones. Then again, these shielded ones aren't as bad as the ones later in the game. Because the ones later in the game have, like, steel shields that are impervious to gunfire. I hate them. They piss me off to no end. These shielded guys aren't half bad. Well, that was a close explosion. Just die! Come on, die! Okay, let's turn back around, because I need to get the, um... Sheva's out of ammo. Great. Being useless again, Sheva? Wasting all your ammo. <sighs> Yay. No, we need to go back. We need to go get that treasure that was up there that I noticed earlier. There's really no point in avoiding it when it's right there. Considering all the money you can get in this game helps, because upgrades are hella expensive kind of anger it pisses me off how expensive upgrades really are in this game this requires so much effort to even get a, a few upgrades on a gun and the more powerful they are the more it costs which kind of is, makes sense but it's also irritating at the same time but ultimately it's okay we can keep making our way out of this easy ass maze not even a maze, it's a joke of a maze. It's like a fucking play school slide thing. It's like a play school jungle gym. Only difference is play school or the makers of play school and Mattel don't, you know, put crazed people that want to kill you in their jungles and their playgrounds. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Just get this over with! I don't like this part. It's easy and it's boring. No skill is required for this, and this is why I hate it. The only skill that's required is at the very end of it, where you have to fight something that you've already fought before, and I told you you were gonna have to fight again, but I didn't actually tell you when you were gonna have to fight it again. 
Only difference is you get a grenade launcher this time to fight it with. Which is very helpful. Because it goes down very fast with a grenade launcher. Am I not hinting enough at you guys what it is? Okay. So this upcoming one, you gotta command Sheva to pull one of the strings, and you gotta go pull down, go pull the other one that's down below. Sheva. Okay. There's only one chain. And we're gonna go pull it. Some enemies are gonna come out and attack us though shortly after we get down there. So just be prepared for that. Personally, I just run and avoid them and pull it as fast as I can. Then I deal with the enemies. But that's just my strategy. You can fight them beforehand. It really doesn't matter either way. There they are. And they're coming for me. Joyous. <laughs> 